having narrowly escaped Dan's grasp, the Grail mercenaries are pleased to feel the ocean beneath their feet as they set sail. According to Captain Nazir, the voyage to Benyon will take roughly two months. Blessed with temperate weather, the ship's journey is smooth journey southward is smooth and steady. As it passes the midpoint of this trip, the ship sets a course along the coastline and begins to head east. So at about this point here, these seas belong to Phoenicius and Kilbas, the kingdom of the bird tribes. Both nations prey on human vessels for supplies and wealth. Their flying corsairs are feared across the seas. Additionally, the southern portion of the continent contains the realm of the dragon tribe, the monarchy of Goldoa. This country has remained isolated since its founding centuries past preserving its closed culture behind a veil of mystery. It is these lagoons controlled waters that Ike and company must now cross. Chapter 12, The Strange Land. Hey everybody, it's Starry Nose and welcome back to Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Last episode, we had a little bit of a rough encounter. Uh, Black Knight could have came in and flooded us, but we escaped before that happened. And now on a ship by someone owned by the name of Nazir, who has the flag merchant sailing under Benyon. Hmm. That is a good question. Oh, I just seasick. Oh, that's nice that you missed. Oh, the incident back in Toa. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty instantaneous. Like that. Yeah, that is bothersome. Yeah. But. No, because you were just like, you're normal people, and I accept you for who you are and all that stuff. You were just so accepting. Not everybody is, Ike. Which, yeah. Why are you so, how are you so different? Ralph just has ears, a tail, and can transform into a cat. Besides that, you're pretty much the same. Good thing you corrected yourself, because you need to use proper terms. See? They're normal people, too. They just transform, and they have animal-like features. Yeah, you've spent... Oh. What is it now? About four or five chapters with the Lagoos? Yeah. That is a logical explanation, Mist. No, it's actually a pretty good thing. You're not an odd one. You're a very kind-hearted being, Ike. Well, she does have a point there, too. Is here. Hmm. Well, oh, he is a lagoos. Yeah, he's made sure he's hidden himself to not make it known. Besides. 
He is one where the characteristics aren't that um, noticed. He's a Lagoose, but we can tell right away he's not of a beast tribe. We don't know anybody from the other two tribes yet to know. But to blend in with the Lagoose. Listen to that reasoning and you may already know where he may come from. I see. And that's why Ike is just such a great person in this game. Which why I really like Ike's character. He does keep things quite honest and pure, even if it's... His youth and innocence are not foolish. That'd be nice. Yes, it's a very kind offer, actually. Yeah, if you realize, in the last actual recording of the chapter, uh, it, Kieran would have been fallen, but I redid the chapter so I didn't have anybody killed. Because I want Kieran to stay around. It's Kieran. <laughs> but anyway, let's see who we have in supports. No, we're not gonna have like Titania. Oh, but Riss here has two: Titania on C and Mia. Oh, that's gonna be. Hold on, I'm gonna see if there's anybody. Else. Oh, this is gonna be funny with Mia. Just let. Hard to train on a boat, but... Hmm? Oh, I see what you're saying, Riss. Well, he's... entered into the group. He rescued Titania and once his parents saw that he that she was part of a pretty strong mercenary group, that's why he's a part of it. Aww, the, the, he loves that. He probably likes Titania too. Aww, poor Riss. Oh. I see. Aw, just being the mer the mercenaries group healer, the cleric. Cause somebody's got to be the cleric. Aw, and then oh, this is gonna be amusing.
Yeah. He's a healer. Not a fighter. Except he doesn't ride a horse. A little crazy there. <laughs> nice offer. Aww. Uh, we won't go grab Ike and Titania. We won't grab Ike and Titania because I want, uh... There's something else. This is valuable here! What oh boy. Ooh, is he a sneaky little thief? Oh! Little stowaway. doing Well, that's what happens when you <laughs> So this is this boy's name is Sob. Really? Well, why did you come on here? Well, Ike's pretty suspicious. You say you're a thief. But you're not here to steal anything. You better explain what the heck's going on. And Ike just always looks like that. Ah, I see. Hmm, is the person family? Ah, someone you treat. Like family. Okay. Ooh. Might as well. All right. Then the Volk. Right here. Oh, poor mist. <laughs> oh, oh, Ike, that's me. A hark. Ah, <sighs> oh, so Zahark is not from Crimea. He's not a Crimea resident. But when he heard of the like the uh, alliance. He's definitely thinking of something good with Zahark. <sighs> Probably disappointed him. <sighs> they share similar views! Understand as people. Ah, well that's good. He's a lot, and Zahark's a better uh, Myrmidon than Mia. But just to take a look at the new guy. This is Sob. He's a thief. Kid doesn't look like much, and he really won't be a whole lot. He comes with the 
Blossom skill. Grant you a fewer experience points, but he gets um, his growths are uh, higher. So to try to make up for the fact that he can't promote. He's an unpromotable unit. He'll just hit 20. To make up for it, they give him Blossom. But even then... Uh, um... I can't really say that is that worth it. Because you've already got Volk. And Volk is Volk. And he's a lot better at protecting himself because he's got Shade. Um, in my personal opinion, if Volk dies... If you lose Volk, go ahead and use Sov, but... But I really prefer Volk over Sov. Um, just an idea. Do we have... Okay, so we don't have... Don't think we have... Can I forge knives? No, I can't forge knives. Okay. So what I am going to do is, just to make sure, if so, it's nice to bulk. So I'm not going to use him. Um, convoy up that master seal. Let's see how everybody... think who I want to level. I want to level up Zahark. I want to give Zahark a level. Because I do want to use Zahark. Skill speed. Uh, you can use some strength there, boy. Um, whose level do I want to round up? Uh, give Volk a level. That's not bad. I think we're just gonna pump some EXP into Zahark. There we go, there's some strength, and you get resistance! Oh, okay, I'll take it. Yeah, put him up to 13. Alright, good, good. And give, just give them all these experience. Um, let's see. Gonna toss in that killer lance. Do we have any blades? We have iron swords and armor slayers. Um, you're gonna wanna have Ike keep a hold of that Lagoon Slayer. Bands I can give Zahark? No, I we don't. Actually, yeah, we're gonna trade Zahark that soldier band from Mia. Cause he's gonna use it. Um We're gonna give him a second steel sword. Gonna give Kieran an iron axe too. See, Riss is good. How's Oscar? Uh, give him a steel lance. Uh, Boyd. 
So, um, going to convoy this hammer. Get a steel axe for this boy. Um, Nephany still. Oh, I should have leveled her up. Oh, well. Anyway, be right back before we start up the chapter.